Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing looking website using WordPress. You don't need any coding experience in order to do this. So basically, you don't need to have any idea how to, you don't need to have any idea how to write in a programming language. You can easily create this with just pick and drop, okay? You can edit this in as simple as you can see. So I want to learn how we can create this in this tutorial. Stay tuned and I'm going to take you from beginning step by step. So how we can get the hosting, the domain name, and then how we can configure and then install WordPress. We're going to do everything in this tutorial. So stay tuned, you can easily create a very simple website for your business. I'm actually going to use a very, I'm going to use a free team, so Aspra. Okay, so you don't need to even buy it. It's absolutely free for you to use. So you can download and then use this. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you how we can create this website. Change anything at all on this particular website. Whatever you want to change, you can have a contact form, everything working for you. You see, you can have your contact form and you have everything functioning so well for you. So we're going to start and the first thing we need to do is we need to get a domain name so this website is basically live okay you can assess it as you can see i created a, a subdomain okay a subdomain on this before you can create a website in wordpress the first thing you need to do is to get a domain name okay so we'll go to namecheap i basically buy my hosting and everything from namecheap so you can easily come to the domain session and then what search for your domain and the domain name you want to look for you just have to search and then buy that domain name from name chip okay so once you have your domain name and then the hosting you can go ahead and then create your site i've already created a subdomain which we are going to use so you can search for any domain name once you have that you just have to pay for it and then for the hosting aspects you need to get what what you call a hosting where you have all your files saved on the internet so basically you can go for share hosting okay shared hosting we have different different packages so depend on what you want to do if it's just for a basic website you can pick any of this okay you can pick any of this and you can select the country where you want to host we have the us uk and then the eu so you can select where you want to host we have the stellar there is stellar plus and the stellar business so you have 4.4 for for monthly and we have the others you have what you get when you buy this hosting once you purchase any of this hosting you're going to get the login details you are going to get the login details to your seat panel what is called your seat panel basically you call control panel where you can easily configure your website and everything i have made a purchase and then i'm going to use that remember the email you use once you do that purchase it will send everything to you can log in so when you log into your seat panel you should be seeing something like this okay you are going to get something like this this is where you can install and then configure your website remember when you buy the domain name when you buy your domain name you have the name the first name is basically going to be the base for your hosting if you buy additional names some of these hosting packages allow you to host more than three plus website some even give unlimited website so the basically the first website is going to be the base for your hosting Aside that, if you buy additional domain name, you can add them on. So you have them as add-on domain. So you can easily click and then add them onto your hosting package. Okay. So that is what you will do. When you click on add-on, then the new domain you purchase, you just come here, add that domain as a subdomain, and then you, want, you click on add. And that is all. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and then install your wordpress which i'm going to show you in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can install our wordpress okay i'm actually not buying an add-on domain but i have option per the hosting package i can create subdomain which is basically going to be free for me i don't need to buy that so you have subdomain over you have created one which i'm going to use that is a subdomain you can see try.bebinningonline.com so this is a subdomain I've already created one for this video, but let me show you how you can do that. To create a subdomain, subdomain mainly means that it's a small domain on the another major domain. So if I go to subdomain, I click on subdomain. That is it. So I need to create maybe 
I want my main website that is the beginning online. I want to create another small website which is parasiting on Bibini online. Then that is my subdomain. So I can just give the name. Let's say I can just say sub like this. And when I click down, you can see I'm having sub dot bibini. So this is a subdomain. Then you click on create. That is all. Web uh, host the hosting computer will automatically configure and then install the SSL that is sec uh, secure socket layer. That is the padlock you see, the security you see. Everything will be configured for you automatically using this hosting company. That is why I'm going to leave a link below so you can easily buy hosting or domain name from me. I've been using them for years and it has been perfect for me. Okay. So I've created another domain we are going to use for this tutorial. We are going to use the ecom bibini.com. That is the sub domain we are going to use to create this website. But the one we've created already is on a trial.bibini online. But because I'm going to create everything from scratch, we are going to use a different domain name, which is going to be the ecom.bibini.online.com. So now we are going to learn how to install WordPress. Now that we know how to create a sub domain, we have our domain name. The next thing to do is to what? Install WordPress, which I'm going to teach you. So let's go back to cPanel. Once we are the cPanel, we have several things we can see over here. How we can create emails, install the SSL. Now, like I said, it's going to be installed for you automatically. So you don't need to bother. And every other thing, how to create custom email. We are going to talk about those things in another video. But my focus now is how to install WordPress and then we can configure and go. So now I will just move down. You can see we have under Softaculous Apps Installer. We just click on WordPress. Just click on WordPress. So once we click on WordPress, you have the option here. These are some of the site running WordPress already. But I just want to click on install now. So the subdomain, the subdomain in which we created, you know, we just select that subdomain from here. So because we are using the security features, you can leave it like this. The S means secure hypertext transfer protocol. So we have that set for us. Mostly sometimes just switch to the www included and I'll select my subdomain. So we are using the ecom.bbn. So that is what we're going to use for this particular tutorial or this website. So the site is supposed to have a name. So let's call this. So we are creating the same thing. So let's call it BS Consult. Okay. So that is going to be our site. The name. So let me just call this BS Consult. Okay. Then the site should have a description. Okay. So let's say get all get all your your business. Help from us okay from us so that is it and i need to have administrator you need to get admin username which we use to log into the back end of the wordpress so you need to give a name over here. you can type in a name and you also need to create a password as well so i'm going to type in my password and remember to take notes <laughs> so you don't forget that password because you need that password in order to log in okay so you need to take note of that it's very very important Okay, so I'm going to type in my password. So I've typed in my password and I also set in an email. That email is going to be my email. Anything concerning my website will be sent to that email. So you need, you need to make sure that you're using a working email as well. So once everything is set, we'll just click on what? Install. If you want to get notification, after the installation of the WordPress, want to get details, you can do that. And it's also helpful if you do that, you use your email and then you click on what? Install. So once you are installing, you see the progress of the installation. Once everything is done, it will give you the notification that it is complete. And then you can go into your back end. Perfect. So now, congratulations, the software was installed successful. So now we've installed our WordPress and we have two links over here. The first link is taking us to the site. So if I click on this first link, it's going to open the website for us. So you can see the address over here. The 
ecom.bibini.com bibiniaonline.com so this is the default team anytime you run the wordpress so this is the theme now so we're going to change and uh, create a website to look like this something so amazing something nice like this so basically now we look at ecom we don't really have anything and basically the beauty of your website is going to depend on the wordpress team you are using okay so we're going to change this and i'm going to show you how to do that so this first link is taking us to the website but the second link is having slash wp admin so this is the link that is going to take you to the back end of your website okay so this is the back end of the website so you're going to be the your website.com slash wp admin you can change this anytime at all you want there's other plugins that will help you so plugins are basically some part of the program or some part that will give you additional functionalities let's say you want to receive or collect email messages you may need additional plugin and additional software support you do that so you may need something to assist you so you need a plugin to do that so they add more functionality to your website so now we have our wordpress once you log into the back end this is what you do so like i said if you log into the back end you can just type in your website slash wp dash admin you can change this sometime for scripture reasons sometimes you can change this and i'll show you how to do this maybe in another video remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new video so once you have something like this you you click wp dash admin you have to enter your username and password because i've not logged out that is why i've not had that kind of experience but remember we've created our username and password so i'll first log out here i'll log out and then if i log out look at what is going to happen you see now it's requesting for the username and password and then i'm going to type the username and password i created when i was the username and password i i i created when i was installing this website i was installing the wordpress so i'll log into this website again i'll log into this website and you can see we are going to the back end again so this is it if you want to see the front end of the website where users will be seen you can just go to the top bar over here where you have the whole then you can see visit visit site when you click on visit site it will take you to the front end that is where what people will see so most of the times like i said plugins will guide you to add more functionalities so now that we have this we can if you install wordpress there are some things you need to do first so these are the left menu and most of the things i do first is to go to my post or post and then delete the default post i want my website to be lightweight okay it shouldn't contain so much information so that it can load fast so what i will need to do is to trash in this default post so i just click on trash or delete this i need to move it to the trash can and i'll go to the trash can and then i will not delete it permanently so now i can delete it permanently from my site the next thing i will do is that i will go to settings and then go to permalinks in order for search engines to be able to index or search engine friendly i need to change the permalink from the day and name to what the post name is very very important so you need to change your permalink to what post name once you are done just click on save the last thing i will do is to go to pages and then i'll delete any irrelevant page that come alongside with what wordpress so basically i'm going to trash just a sample page and then from there we can proceed and start working on, on our website so far so good we've done a lot with our site i'll go to trash can and then delete the sample page and then we can install our wordpress and then i'll show you how we can set up our menu this is our major website right this is what we are following set up ad logos and menus and then this action bar 
and then we move on how to change this image any of the image change the footer and all that and then the contact page how to set up the contact page i'll show you how we can do all that in this video so remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video we are going to do everything step by step you can change all this name to your name or your address and location you can easily do that okay so we have trashed everything now and then we are going to start our website in order to install team like i said the team is the one that add beauty to your website so right now this is our website this is the default team and it's not making our website look attractive at all so i want to change the entire look so we go to the back end in order to add a new team you will go to appearance but before that we want to use a free team but you need to subscribe and stay tuned because i have a, another powerful team which i bought from team forest basically team forest is a website sells a lot of amazing and a premium wordpress team that can allow you to build amazing websites so this particular team called lazada i bought it it's about 59 dollars and it's having so many amazing user interfaces that you can use to build any e-commerce so i'll be creating another website on e-commerce how you can sell product online you can sell any product online at all if you have furniture you want to sell you can use the furniture template so this is a demo which can give you a look of your furniture website okay where you can sell your furniture online so this is the lazada if you check i have an account with them and i've purchased this so i can easily download this if i go to downloads i can download this thing because i've purchased it and then i have access to it so if you come down here so this is the lazada fashion web woocommerce wordpress thing i can download and then we can use it so i'll be creating another video on how to create e-commerce website so for you not to miss that tutorial you need to subscribe to this channel and stay alert because we're going to do something amazing payment configuration and everything we're going to do it and people can pay through mobile money using credit card and the rest i'm going to use this to create that so if you see the furniture interface a lot you can see the lazada it looks so amazing you see you can send you can sell any of your amazing product online purchase it and then provide a deal of the day and everything so you can build this amazing e-commerce website you can build this e-commerce website using lazada by the way i'm ready to sell the lazada wordpress team so if you want it i'm not using it i purchased but i'm not using it i've not used to create any website so if you really want to use it or you want this team you can send me a private message and then I will send everything and then the code as well, the purchase code and everything too. So you can have access to it. I just have to transfer it to you and then you can use it to build any amazing website like this. Okay, so this is a site we'll be building in the future. That is why you need to stay alert. So let's go back and then you we can continue with our website. So now that we have this set, what our WordPress team? So install a team just come to your dashboard and go to appearance and click on what teams so we click on teams and then this is where we are going to add a beauty to our website so right now we are using this default wordpress and that's 2021 that is what is making our site appear this way which is not good but we want to change this so to install a new team we just go to add new so when you click on add new this gives you the option to actually install a new team so there are two ways you can upload that means let's assume i purchased a team from team forest and i download it if i download that team okay let me show you that i have downloaded this so assuming i want to use that team i can just go to the upload team and then select that file so it could be a zip file i'll select that and then install direct that is the manual installation but anytime you go to the add new team it gives you some default teams okay these teams are all free these teams are all free that you can easily use to create your site these are free teams that you can use so we are going to use one of these free teams to create this website so let's focus on the astra wordpress team so we're going to click on install so once you install a team you need to what activate it after activation then you're free to use it 
so we now install this theme so we the next thing to do is to what click on what activate so let's wait for this theme to activate and now you can see thank you for installing astra so this theme has been activated and most of the time once i activate my main theme what i do is that the four themes i try to delete them to make my site look lighter okay so to delete any theme i just keep only one so i'm going to keep only one of the default theme so i just click you just click on the theme and just go to a delete at the bottom right and then you delete this theme because you will not need it for anything it's just taking space on your side okay so you delete them any of them that you want to delete them you are good to go so once you install the astra theme we are going to focus on the configuration so just click on let's go to get start, started and let's see what we need in order to build this amazing looking website this is what we're going to do we're going to build this amazing looking website so now we're trying to configure the astra we are activating we are activating this and then from there we can set up so once you click on the activate it's going to give you this particular screen and it's basically what you use to build your website so you have different plugins that you can use to make edits to your website like the layout of your website you have this the cutting back and elementor b beaver builder and then the rest so you have to select the one that you're familiar with most of these are not difficult to go with okay you can easily just drag and drop to edit your website so maybe you just have to research on any of them and see which of them you can easily learn and then use i'm familiar with at least one two three but i'm just going to stick to the first one for this so i'm just going to click on that so i'll click on this and i'll start the configuration with this okay so i've selected that and once you do that it's going to give you some plenty home pages that you can work with so you see we have outdoor we have the outdoor adventure we have brand store we have organic store we have the lenders academy so this is some template already designed once within the astra that we can easily use so this is so amazing so to depend on the site you want to build you see relationships and life coach creative podcaster learn digital digital marketing the mountain and these are the amazing ones you can use so realize that if you check my site for instance what we are creating i'm i'm using the first one so this is the first one i'm using so i'm using the outdoor adventure if you want to do something organic you can select this and use to build your site so the editing we are going to do for this the first one is actually going to apply to all of the how to change everything how you change this first one is basically going to be the same process for the rest so let's click on this this first one since this is the one we are going to use once i click on this you can see we have the home the about you can see how every page will look like before you even click on install complete site okay so we can when you click on complete site it's going to give us a home page about services contact and project page if you don't want and you just want to import only the about you can just click on and import the just the about okay if you want to import just the home i'll click on that but for this tutorial we want to get all the five home pages the five web pages okay all the web pages we want to get them so we're going to click on now that we've click on each and every page and we are okay with it what we do is that we need to click on import complete site and we just wait for some time to import this site and then we can start a customization okay so you just have to give some indication at least to assess your professionality so they say i'm a wordpress build builder you can specify whether you're a beginner intermediary and then or expert even though i'll call myself intermediary or an expert i'll go with beginner for the sake of this tutorial because i want it to be beginner friendly and then i'm building website for let's say myself slash my company so let's go with that and then we click on next once this is done just provide a name so let's just give any name i'll just type worker and then you provide maybe a very 
genuine email then we click on that we click on submit start importing so we're going to import this site we're going to click on that and then importation process will start so it's going to import the entire content of this website for us and then once we are done we can move straight so everything has been imported for us the next thing for us to do is to click on a visit site wow so you can see the entire website is now set you can see the look of our website already functioning very very well so we're going to start from we're going to use some button down approach we're going to start from editing from the top how we can change the logo set up our own menu if we indeed want to change this background over here we can change the right up over here then we look how we can change the contents change these pictures if we don't want how to change this background text and then we'll do all the way down to the footer so let's look at how we can do all this right from here so everything is has been imported now i have my site the and if you come back here this is our default site if i really load it this entire team the default team should not vanish and then we should get our new team and then the look of our website okay so now we have our default site and you can see we are using the outdoor adventure and then by default the name you use for the site will also show we're going to change our logo and this will not appear again we only have our logo showing up over here and then this is the site we are trying to build okay so we realize that we've almost have about 90 plus of our work done but when we do a bit of editing i'm showing i'm going to show you how to change everything over here so let's go back and then we start our editing so let's change the logo first from here to change the logo we just go to appearance and then we go to what customize so when you click on customize we can change our logo so sometimes what you need to do you need to have your logo resize change the size of your logo and everything so sometimes it's good you need at least some bit of editing experience how you can change resize your logo and all that it will help you a lot and then you can easily customize that so when you click on the customize from the click on the customize from the appearance on the appearance you should come here so this is where you can customize your entire website you can see we can have the global settings over here so we can do some change of colors you can see the default colors that we are using so the main theme color is red as you can see over here if we want to change it to a different color we can do that so most of the time the main color will be the color dominating your logo you have some professional looking work so if i open my photoshop this is the logo we are going to use so if i want the main color for my team maybe i have to pick something like this from my logo and if you are familiar with wordpress you can select let me go back you can just click and then pick a color of your choice you can see you can't just drag this anywhere at all or click and then pick that blue color and then it will still going to work for you but if you're a photoshop user one of the best way of quickest way quickest way you get a color you just click on the color option and then with the eye drop out you can click on your logo color and then you can copy the there's a decimal color code when you copy that and you go back here you can paste it in the color code section okay so you can see the action part every link and then every other thing is changing to the color i've selected so it's not the main color of what our website so we have the hover effect if you hover color which is this you can see over here if you want to change that one to you can try to use your secondary color on your website so you can select any color at all you want but if i want to do i can use this color my second color in my logo select and copy the color code again and then just go there and click on the over and then i can paste this color code over here i can paste this color code over here okay so once this is done if i move my cursor again i should be getting this color so you can see you now the color i've changed is okay i can even use the same for my link as well so 
I want I don't want to have so many color on my site so I'm use the save and then I'll click on publish that means I'm saving this and now you should reflect on the entire website so it's going to change everything for us now as you can see we've been able to change the color the main color on our website now and then we'll go back again and we'll leave other things so the typography is basically regarding the font you can change the font the look of the font on your website so this body font is using Bluetooth sounds if you want to change to other fonts the size of the font you can do that you can change your font size so maybe if you want 14 or you want a bigger font 18 you can do all those things there and pixels you can change that from here the line height and the rest you can do those adjustments if you're okay with the font and everything on your website you can just proceed and skip that one we also have the headings so the right top of the heading the font regarding the headings over here if you want to change that you can do that over here you just have to click on the font and then you change the headings as well so i'm going to go back and buttons and every other thing so we have this button over here sometimes because it's a button we will need a lot of actions on there so it's good to use a brighter color for that so if you decide to change that color they have the test color the background color i can click and then giving maybe some color that will make it more appealing and people can easily see so i'm using something red right to draw attention a lot okay or maybe you can i can use a second color in my logo which i've already copied so at least it's a bit brighter so i'll paste that one there for the background color of my what anything which is a button okay but i've actually used the main color so maybe what i need to do let me leave it transparent for now so I'm just going to reset this one. Let me leave it for now so that it doesn't affect all my buttons on the page. I don't want it that way. So at least I want to have that kind of hover effect on the other buttons. Okay. So I'm going to keep that and then let me publish this. So once this is done, we now been able to change our color and we're going to go back. We're going to go back and go back again. And I'm going to target the header. The header builder where we can work on the header over here so this is where we have our header so you have the site title and its logo so if you see the title is here as well as the logo so if i want to change this logo i just have to click over here site logo and you can see the default logo over here and you can change that you can also remove it if you want to change it all you have to do is that click on change logo and then you pick a logo from your pc and then you can see over here most of the time you don't see the size of the logo so it's so what i do is that most of the time just right click save this image and then try to compare check the size so i can open save this image open it in photoshop and then the logo i'm going to use to replace this i'll make sure it's the same size as the logo over here but we still have option to change the logo width over here so let me just pick any logo i'll click over here and then i'm going to pick the consult BS console logo on my PC, so I'll select file. So when I select file, I'm just going to locate that is on my desk. So I'll go to my folder and then I'll select it. So I'm going to have that's the logo over here, the BS BA consult logo. So I'm going to select this logo. I may have two logos, so I can use any of them. So let me go with this one. So I'll load this onto my work and then click OK. I can't also I can crop this a bit and make sure I'm having the full size showing. And then I'll click on what crop image at the right bottom. Okay, so I'm done with that. You may not see changing now, but I'll explain that because we're having a transparent background, and the transparent background will have a different logo as well. And then I'm going to change this retina. So mostly retina is twice as big as the main logo. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, I'm just going to use the same logo. I'm going to use the same logo because I can resize it over here. Okay. This logo is now looking nice over here. And I'll change the size to around 240 because 120 is too small so that the logo will appear bigger. So you can see this logo appearing bigger over here which i think is okay for us 
and that is it we want a site icon it's called favicon so basically if you see this website i can see some small logo appearing beside every website so that logo is called a favicon so it does the site icon so i can click over here and then pick that logo so when i click on this i will select that site icon from my pc as well it's supposed to be 512 by 512 so i'll select this and i already have it and i'll click on that so basically if you want to use that just make sure you have your logo in a smaller version and then save it to look just like that and you can see how it's going to appear okay and then we click on publish so you can see it's now appearing at the top left corner of our site okay so we have done that and the header is something I want us to do. This is not appearing well on the transparent background. So you can see we have transparent header at the bottom. But when I click on it, when I click on it, I will just see, you see the transparent one is having some white images which will make it appear a lot on this. So I have a logo maybe in that version. So I'll click on it and then go and pick my logo that is appearing as somehow white for my transparent background. So I'm going to click on that. Then I'll add this. And I'll add it here as well. So the second version of the logo. So I'm actually going to change this to 240 again. So my logo will appear bigger okay we'll publish this and this consult that is the site identity the name for the site we are going to remove that from there so what we're going to do is that let's go to the site title and logo okay you see it's showing over here the site title is showing over here we don't want it to appear once we have our logo over there we don't really need a site title again so i'll just empty this side and then click on publish and that should go so that is exactly all we need now and we are done with the top i'll show you how we can change this we can add the menu over here and then also do some customization to the action so assuming we click on the action what should happen if when the person click over you should bring the person to the contact page so the person can contact us so let's look at how we can do that as well. So now we have set up our header and okay, I think we've done. Okay, so we've done our logo. We can talk about the button. So this is the button over here. So we can just change this button color. So let me click on this button and then you can see we have the take action. Or you can see call us now so we can change our own figure we can type in this in call so let's just do something like this and okay so you can see this is going to change over here and the link will be when the person click on this what is it going to take the person to so we want it to go to our main page a uh, contact page you can just click on the contact page and then you can copy that link from your address bar okay so you can see we have the contact page i can just copy that link and then i'll go back to my customer and then paste that link over here so when somebody click on that link it will take the person to the contact page if i wanted to open in a new tab i can just enable it over here, which ideally is not supposed to be so because the contact page is on our website so we don't want to go to any external website if you want that action to go to another external website then you put it over there so we just click on publish but i really need to change this background to look red so you can click on the design tab over here we click on the design and then you see we cannot change the background it's not going to affect the other links again we cannot click over here and let me pick something red so you can see the other buttons will not have that experience because we are targeting only this one and then i'll click on publish click on publish and that is good so i think we are okay over here but i'll show you how you can remove any of this or even have a drop down maybe you have other services you want to add and want to show a drop down so maybe what you are even going to do maybe more advanced than this 
So you see, the what we are doing now, we have a project menu over here, but our main way we don't have a project. So if you want to remove project from your list, you can remove that. So I'll show you how to do that. So now we've been able to change our logo and then the rest. What we need to do is that okay, we have the primary menu over here, and with that, we are not going to do anything about it. I'll show you how we can change this in another video. Okay, so sorry, I'm going to show you how we can change this in the dashboard. Okay, I want to show you how we can change the menu in the dashboard. So I'll go back again, and then you can see we have the footer copyright settings. We are going to change that, and if indeed we want to change the background, we can do that as well. So I'm going to leave the breadcrumb sidebar. So I'm going to jump straight to the footer. That is the last thing we'll do by it. Then we can start working on our main page. So what we want to do is that we want to change this text over here, maybe to our address and then our own email. And then we change the copyright text. So you see the footer over here is having its own design. And when you click on design, you can change the color for it. It's having a, a dark background color. Maybe we want to stick to one unique color for our website. So I'm going to pick my major color again and maybe I'll use it for my main background. So I can paste it for my main background. You can even use gradient for that if you want. So I'll just paste this. Just paste this and then I'll just go back to some of this will take some time to update. So don't worry. Let's change our copyright. So I'll just click on the copyright information. And then we should be able to change that. So this is the copyright information. So we have our address. So let me just make it simple. I'm going to say Accra Ghana. And then so it's going to depend on what the address you want to provide. And if you want to provide a phone number, you can go ahead and do that. So let me just plus 233. And the rest. So if you're building a professional website, you may like to use your main contact so that people can reach you on that. So you can see everything is changing now. So let's also provide an accurate email. Assuming it's our own website. So I'm going to say info at. I'm going to do bsconsult.com. So we're going to leave that over here. And then I'm going to publish this. So we've been able to change our address and the rest. The main copyright text over here, I'm going to show you how we can change that. So copyright as 2021, then maybe BS Consult. Then we can say all rights reserved. If you want to put that information, we have to click on this HTML one. And we have that information. over. So this current year is basically going to pick the most recent year. So we're going to put in BS Consult. So put in beer consult and I'll bring a pipe symbol and say all rights reserved. Okay, so this is basically what we want. And you can see we have updated our copyright information neatly and nicely. And I'll publish this. So this you can build one footer, one header that will cover the entire web pages. So what we've done so far will reflect on each and every web page we have on this website. Okay, it's very important. So you can use include statement. If you are familiar with PHP, you can use include statement to include those headers within every page you want to use. So just once update on one website, will reflect on every other web page. Okay. So I think we are okay with our header and everything. Let's just close this and go back to our dashboard. And we can start changing our content, which I believe is the most important thing now. If you know how to change your content, you can easily create. So if I reload my website, those changes should reflect. This should change to colors now. You see colors now, and we have the services, projects, our logo, and if I go back to my home page, everything should be working perfectly. I'll show you how we can change this thing as well. So this is it. We now have our logo, change our contact, and if you come to our footer as well, copyright text and everything should be perfectly done as we want. So this is what we have. And then we can go ahead and start changing the text. But let's say welcome to our website. And we can provide, maybe read, learn more, we'll take the person to about page. You can do that. So we're going to use two tabs now. 
So this is the adapter. Let me reload this so that our changes will reflect over here. So once you are doing the change on one tab, we can be monitoring it in the second tab. Okay. So our changes actually reflected as we expected. So now let's go ahead and then go back to the dashboard again. So you just go and click on dashboard at the left corner. So once we do any change to reflect, I want to just update the I want to update the menu. So I want to show you how you can change this menu, add and then change menu. So that's what I'm going to do. Then we can start editing, we can start editing the content. So I'll go to the dashboard. Once you're, there, you go to the, once you're in the dashboard, just go to the menu, appearance, and then click on menu. So that's where we can change our menu now. Okay, so you can see everything we have within the menu is appearing by there. Home about services, projects, and the contacts. If you come here, you can see that. So, if I don't want a project in my list, I can just click on this small pointed arrow and click on all the remove, just like that. And if I update this, click on save menu at the right bottom. Once the save is perfect and I go back and reload my page, that should disappear from my list. So, let's reload this. Let's wait for this to reload this. You can see we no longer have the project page on in the menu list again so that's how to remove it we can also add a drop down maybe you want the services to run once i'm pointing my case i want to show it down here as a drop down you can do that at the menu so all those things are allowed over here so i'm going to bring my project back but i'm going to show you how to do that so you can easily drag and rearrange this you can click hold and then drag you see you can drag it over here if I want it to be a sub menu under services, I just have to drag it a bit forward over here this way, and then I'll click on save. So now it's not going to be a sub. So when I move my cursor to the services, the project will not show. Let me reload, let me reload this. The project will not show as a sub services under this, my service menu. So now if I move my cursor here, so you can see that it's not showing as a sub menu over here okay we really didn't plan for this in the video but i've actually taken this option to explain to you so now we're now going to edit our main content now change everything in every individual page and then our website should be complete now now we know that when you click on this it should take us towards our contact page which we've done so when i click on this let's test this and see we should go into our contact page Perfect. So this is action and it's working. I will come and edit our contact page later on. So let's go back and then work on our home page and then we can deal with the rest. So let's keep this tab open and then let's go back here. Let's go to our main page and then we can start editing the page step by step. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload. A new content so this is what we have we want to now edit the text pictures and everything on the main page which is the most important thing now so we're going to click on edit at the top over here edit page so we're able to change this explore the colorful world to something else you can change the colors and all that so we're going to be monitoring the page now once we do the change we'll load it over here and we we'll see what exactly is happening? Whether our change is reflecting as expected. Okay. okay, so we are here now. We can now start doing the editing to our page. Once you click on that, you can see. Let me just click on this next. Just do that. And these are our text on the page, as you can see. I want to change, explore the colorful, colorful world. I can change it to something else. I just have to click and then start typing. So I can click, you can see it's using header 3, I can change it to maybe header 4, whatever, I can put in it. So we can just, I can just highlight all this and I see. You can see what is happening, so I can type. Let's see, let me see. Let's explore together. Okay, so that is it. If I update this, I click on update at the far right corner. If this update is successful, and I go and then 
upload this. This explore the couple was change what let's explore together. So we've already start changing the content of our page, which is basically going to be an amazing thing, amazing experience for you. you. Can change every other thing you want. You don't need any coding experience. You just have to follow steps and all that. You can leave your comments at the comment section. If you have any challenge, I will try my best to attend to you. The link to the hosting and every other thing is there. If you want to use Namecheap as a hosting company, you can also do that as well. Subscribe as well. I'm going to change the next thing I'm going to do is to change this right. I want to write welcome to maybe PS Consult. So let's do that. Just click on this and I can just highlight everything. As it is using head that one, you can change that as well. And I'll go to welcome. Welcome, welcome to BS Consult. I believe I'm right. So that is necessarily if we save and upload it to change, but I want to change the button before we move. So I'll click on this button. I want this to direct the person to our bot page. Okay, you can even change the text from read more, learn more to let's say read more. So you want to do that, you want to. Change this. You can just go ahead and say change the text to let's say read more. Or maybe about us. So this is something straightforward you can do. And so let me just go ahead and then change it to about us. I just want you to know that you can change everything if you want. So that is it. We can change when you click on this small icon, that is a link. You can insert a link. So what we're going to do is that let's I direct the person to our about page. So let's click on about so that we can copy that link from our address bar. Copy that from our address bar and then we'll paste it over here. Paste it over here. You can see it's able to detect that direct since it's part of our link on the website. We we'll click on that and that is it. I'll just click on update. When I click on update and let me be at my home and then I'll click on that and let's see what is going to happen. You should be able to take us to this uh, about page. Okay, we are making progress, and I believe you are enjoying this. And I've changed the entire look of the face. If you want to change the image at the background, I'm going to show you how to do that. Change this big image at the background. You can see we change. Welcome to BS Consult. When you click on this, it will take us to our about page. It's going to change it, take us to our about page. Perfect. So our site is basically taking shape, and we are making progress. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order not to miss any of our videos so let's try changing our image and we progress from there so we're going to change this big image just select it so we're going to select the entire big image you see if you select you see an option to do edit and we have to replace over here when you click on replace it will give you option to select if you have a big image you have an image on your pc you want to select you can go to upload You've already uploaded the image you want to change, which is part of your library, your website library. You can click on it. So let me go to maybe my media library. So you can use any of the options. I just want to show you how to change that. So I'll go to my media library and then pick any picture from my media library to change that. So let me just pick a different image. I think there is some big enough. Let's pick an image that is very big. Let's pick an image with a very big background. I want to get a very big image for this. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. So when I click select and I update this, you can see this is going to change our, our the main page of our website. So if I upload this, we should see this image change. You can see. So this is also amazing. If you take any picture, any picture yourself, I want to use that the front page of your website. You can do that. Why not? So we've been able to change this. Now you know how to change that. And basically you open a different tab and you do the editing. So you can be monitoring the changes you are doing. So this is a very simple code over here. If you have a different code you want to use, you can also change that as well. So let's try and then see how we can do editing. So if I come here, I can move down and all my pages. You can see over here, just click and then make this part active. And if I want to change this right tab, I can do that. I want to 
type in anything. So maybe it's a different code. Maybe I've got a new code from somewhere. I want to type. Once you click on it, you'll be able to type anything at all you want. Okay. So you can type and then do in the right tab over here. So let me see. Let me get some codes from the website. Let me get some codes about life and then I can use it to replace that. And I'll give credit to the best who made that code as well. Okay, so this some of a hundred codes. Let me just pin this website and let me just copy one. Then we can replace that. Okay, so this is one of them by Elsie Mandela. So I'm just going to copy this up to the stage. Copy and I'll just go back to my website and then over here. I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to address it to the rightful owner. So copy with Nelson Mandela. And we'll come back here, over here. I'm going to place it at this option. You see, everything is done. Then we can update this and it will reflect on our main website. So if I go back here and upload this, it should be working. This is a very, a very light gray background. If you want to change this background color and all that, you should be able to do that. Okay, so I've showed you how to change that. So when you click on the background itself, you see you have option here. You can do several changes. You can copy duplicate. And if you move your cursor alignment and every other thing, you'll be able to do that. You see the background is gray over here. If you check the block, you can pick a color you want. One change this is something blue. Or even gradient, I can do that. I select any of this color. Okay. So we can pick any of this color and then we can change them. So these are these are the test color and this is a background color. So if I pick any of this background color, you can see it will change accordingly. And then we can pick a text. Once I will pick this, we want a text that will appear. Right. So if you want to change any color, you can do that. But don't use so many colors. On your website it makes it look so boring so let me stick to the ash color this week and that's it so this is the event tab, upcoming events so let's say don't miss these events if you want to change it, just click on it and you can change that don't miss this event so let's just type it don't miss this so let's say don't miss this event that makes better mistake over here. Okay, so this is it. We just done with this. Let's try and change these images as well, and then we can save and see what is going to happen. You can give caption to it. If you want to change, you can go to replace and then. So I'm not going to show you how to select image from your desktop. So I'm just going to click upload, and this will allow you to pick image directly from our PC if indeed we have a picture what I want to use. So I'm just going to pick the picture for this, and I just want to tell you that you can easily use any picture. If you want to, okay. If you want to, you can take your own picture from your organization and use it to do that. So let me just come down. I'm just looking for any picture for that. Oh, let me get a picture for this. Okay, so let me just pick this and let's see what is going to happen. It's going to replace this picture. I'm going to replace this picture. You can see now I have a new picture over. You can add a caption to this if you want. So if you can give a caption, see maybe join us. You can do that. That is, and you can change this one. If you want the picture to look rounded, you select. You can change. You can see the right canal by the round. You can click on that, and to change your picture, and then to make it look somehow unique. Okay. And you can change the second one. The same process again. Go to replace, and let's upload another picture from our PC as well. Let's upload another picture from our PC again. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to pick this one. Pick this one. Yeah. So this is going to change and we can give a caption as well. But sometimes to make your site look more unique, pick a picture that at least have the same size so that you don't have one again bigger than the other okay so let me try and get maybe a bigger picture so that i'll make this look more nice and i'm 
bring some kind of uniformity to my site. So basically, I can pick and picture resize them, and then you can use them. So let me just use this one and see if this will be big enough. Okay, I think I can use, even though it's not big enough. Let me just pick this. So let me just see you have. So I type this as you have members and I can change it to the rounded as well. So this is all we need at this stage. Every other thing over, so every other text over, so we can change them. Once I click over there, I can put in the details over there. So we still have a long way to go. So we have this as well. We can change this content. Anything you want to type over, you can do that. We can do it over here as well. And then the button. If you want to click over, maybe you want to go to the services page. You can just click on the link so let's assume this is going to take us to event we have event page on our website meanwhile we don't have now we can create event page and then link it to these buttons so anytime the person click on these buttons let me update this and let's check our main page so i'll be sure the changes we've done so far actually reflected so let's see if these images will change over here if the changes actually reflected okay so it's actually reflected. This image looks quite big and it's making a website not looking the shape looking somehow. So I'm gonna change this image so that I'll get something more sizable compared to this. Okay. If possible, I'll use the same image because I'll not have time to resize them. So I'm gonna use the same image for this and that so that everything will look perfect. One will not be longer than the other. So, so far what we've done is actually reflecting. And we'll be changing, changing this background because we now use it at the main pattern at the top. So I want to change this image to this again. I'm actually going to use the same image. So we've already uploaded this image to our website. So let me just go to the media gallery because it will be there. And then I can just pick it. Okay. I just pick it. And that is it. But now we have a same image of equal size which will make our site look more professional. So I just want to link this to our project page because right now I don't have event page. So we're going to link this to, to the same thing. So we can just, we've linked the project to the services. So click on that and then we can copy the link from the address bar. We can copy this link from the address bar now. And we link everything to the project page now. So I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click on the button and then we can change that. Okay, so I'll click on the link over and change the button. Okay, so that is indeed the link on our page. I'll click on this and update this one as well. Click on the link and change it. If I want to change the text, maybe to anything, I can just go ahead and type that. Okay, so that is something straightforward you can do. So we change this link, anytime we click on this link, we take it to our project page. If we have services, event page, we can do that. So we are done with this part of, let me go back to the home page. This is a very long tutorial but it's actually something that will help you a lot. The changes we've done so far actually reflected and we are making progress. So we have everything on perfect. So if, if you want to get a unique, you can just resize the image to have equal size and then you can use it. So now we are going to change the right type of and then the background image over here. And then we move ahead. So we've used this image already. So we come here. Let's change the main image now. I'll click here and I'll go to replace. Let me see if I'll get the image from my gallery. Media gallery. I should get some image to work on that. Let me click on. Okay. I have some image over here. Let me look at this. To see if I can get some image for this. At least, if you know how to change the image, you should be able to use any image at all. You should be able to use any image. So, I'm going to use this long image for that. Let me use this. Use this and I'll change it. Okay, 
So I'm going to choose this one for that. And I'll click select. And then we've actually changed that image from the background. So now the image is appearing over here. And if we want to do something about this, we can change this right tab and every other thing. Yeah. So this is the image now. If you want to add some information over, you can click on this plus and then you start typing something. If you want to add a heading, change the alignment and any other information you want to add, you can do that over here. And change the columns, create a column and all that. So you can get a very nice image as the one we have and then fix it at the background. And yeah. So this text over here, explore the world, you can't actually do that let me so once we change this background you want to change this text basically it's going to be the process is going to be the same you can click and then change this individual text and then change the background and that is all so we can update this and let's see what is going to happen let's load our main website and this image will also change the write up and everything i showed you how you can change that so it's basically straightforward so you can see actually change the image of a background so the next thing we're going to do is this it's going to be this part and we are done with our home page so this part of the image we just click on each every individual image and we can replace them so maybe i'm just going to change the position of each of the image so now we can change this individual images over here if you click if you click on every individual image you should be able to change you have the edit icon over here so you can select from the media library you can go to media library click on media library you want to pick from whatever you have on your pc so let me just take these images pick this one to replace that one so this is quite short compared to the other image or to resize it so i can pick something quite big so let me just get images of both sides so that everything will be perfect over there so this is going to be so i'm going to interchange the position so i'm going to select this select this and i'm going to replace this one with the previous one so you can easily change the image as well so i'm picking this from the gallery so let me just take this one to replace that so they just need to be both of equal size so the process is basically the same you can do that for the ones you have here so if i come here i can just click on this and the image I uploaded previously, I believe it will fit over here. Yeah, so this image will perfect over here. So you can see this right up over here. If you want to change it, just click over there and then upcoming doors and destination. Yeah, destination. So if you want to change this just to something else, you can just go ahead and then do that. Okay, so this is the right up. And you can change this. So let me assume I want to change it. So, tools and destination, you can just do that like this. And the right up over here, I can write some brief description about it. And I want to, we have my event page, I can link it to this. And I already showed you how to do the linking already. Just click on this and you have the link option over this the link. If you have event page, just click on this and then go and copy the event page link and then click on that. So we're going to change this. I'm going to use the same image. This one it seems to be too long. So I'll change and use the same image for this as well. But my website doesn't look unprofessional. So I'm going to select this again. And I'll add it. Okay. So basically, if you want to use image, just make sure your image have the same size so that everything looks perfect. We have finally gotten to the end of our home page with finish work on our home page now if you update this, this image and everything to change accordingly everything here should change so you can see the changes we made is actually reflecting and our website actually taking a beautiful and amazing shape now we'll go to our contact page and then we'll work on that and we'll do some few changes on about page. every other thing is going to be the process is actually going to be the same editing and editing is going to be the same and have a professional looking website so let's go to the about page the contact page sorry so this is the contact you want to change this address information to your own 
just as we have down here, it will be a crackdown on phone number and then it will want to change it over here. To do that, just go to the edit. Once you, you are on the contact page, click on the edit. I want to change this big background image, you can call it do that. I've already shown you the process how to change that. If something you want to do, you want to add your image over there. You have a very big image, a banner, you want to use it, you can just call it do that. So like I said, you don't need coding in order to create this website. So as you can see, I've not done any coding so far. I've not typed, I've not written any program to do this. This is just straightforward. I'm just basically editing things and that's it. So we have this big image at the background. You can change that if you want. So I'm going to leave it because I've already showed you how to change this. You can just highlight. Now by clicking this, making it active, you can see replace over here. When you click on replace, it will give you option to select a different image. All we want to do is to change this. The contact form, we're going to leave it this way. And the right up at the top, you can also change it. Okay. So you can just say, let's talk. Let's talk. So if you want to write something more unique, you can put it over there. And then over here you can start changing address. Let's see. Accra Ghana. So type in Accra Ghana and the email. Come down here and type our email as well. So let's see. At dsconsult.com, and then we can put the contact over here. We can put the contact over here. So you can help it. Contact that people can reach you. We have business. You can put everything over there. Once you are done, we have the ad for the social media. We have social media handles. You can put them over here. You can just select it. If you want to add more, you want to. Let me change the size of that and if you have done just update that just update that so we come back to our contact page they should reflect you should see things changing accordingly so this is exactly what you want so you cannot type in email and everything you cannot type in email and everything and you can submit it to come contact you so remember we've linked our call us now page on that page as well. Our website is actually an active website. It's live and you wouldn't want to talk and assess this website. So we build this website using WordPress and everything by clicking on contact us. It should take us to the contact page. It should take us to the contact page. So we see everything is working perfectly as as expected. Like I said, you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So we've been able to create this professional looking website. So we've also linked this to about page, you should take us to about page. So the edited about page is basically going to the same post the same format. So you're going to do something brief over here. How oh, maybe you can change these images right now, our mission, vision, and every other thing. You can change them for me. If you want to change this background image, the same process, just go to edit page. Then you can change that as well. Can change that as well on this page. Okay, so this is about page who we are. I want to change this right up. You can do that, just click on it and you type in whatever text you want to use. If you want to change the background, you already know how to do that. So the mission and the other things you can if you want to replace this, you just have to click on the page and then. Over here, you can see the image and the text and everything is here. And this is an individual image and every other thing you can change our mission. And then if you have your mission right up and every other thing, just put it over here. There was one thing I did not even tell you. If you don't want a column within a page, you can delete it. So let's say we just want this mission and this image on our board page. And you don't want this entire thing to appear, you can go click. Make it active. Click on this three dots and go to remove block. So I click on remove block, it's just going to remove the entire block. So now we see we don't have that. If I update this and we go to the about page, that shouldn't be part again. Okay, that shouldn't be part again. So basically, if I reload the page, 
So let me go back to our main page now. Go back to our main website and let's go to about page. I'll remove that block from it. Let's see how it's going to work. So you can move the entire block. I don't want this to appear. Can so if I go back to our about page, because we're just going to have one block. Okay. So now we don't have the another one. Okay. So it looks very simple now, as you can see. So this is basically how to create a very simple but professional website using WordPress with no coding or any prior experience. So I showed you how to do that. We can also build this all locally on our PC and then upload it. So if you have any comment, leave it at the description, the comment section, and then I'm going to respond. If there's any challenge you are facing, I also help you regarding configuration of the hosting and all that. I can guide you through the entire process. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. So like come your way another time. Remember to stay safe and continue visiting how you take.